Today we are going to take a look at how to use the shape cut ruler by June Taylor. This ruler is by June Taylor and it is the shape cut ruler. Some glare from my light, sorry about that. But this is by June Taylor. The size of this is um, 12 inches by 12 inches, so it's square. It's a little bit larger because you have the plastic frame around your cutting channels. You might be thinking, why do you need something like this? And let me just tell you that if you are cutting a lot of strips, um, this ruler is a life saver. So as you can see, there are measurements going vertically and then your cutting channels go horizontally. So we're gonna lay our fabric out and put this into place. This also allows you to really cut accurately um, a few layers of fabric as well. If you've got a pattern that needs quite a few, like three inch, three inch strips, two inch strips, um, two and a half inch strips, because this one does have the full inch as well as half inch channels. This makes your cutting time um, extremely quick and fast. I know that there's a lot of jelly rolls out there which allows us to use two and a half inch strips pretty quickly, but um, this will also allow you to get the same results without having to buy the pre-cuts. So I have a nice fabric collection and I really would like to have these cut up into strips so I can make like a jelly roll quilt with this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just gonna lay our fabric out and line up one edge. Make sure that your fabric is um, pressed and ready to go. If you have a fold in it, that's all right as well. Just make sure that it is lined up still straight so when you cut it, you don't get a kink. But I'm just gonna line up a few of these pieces. Now I can go ahead and lay my quilt ruler right on top of this. Because my ruler is uh, 12 inches, I am going to just fold this. Now, this, this edge of the fabric has um, the salvage, and so I, kn I know that if I line this up and it's straight, that it's not gonna cause me a funky, a funky shape on that edge. I'm gonna place my ruler right on top. What I'm going to do is line up one of these black lines to the fold on the side, or one of these black lines on this to the left side. So either side will work. I also wanna take a look at where I'm gonna cut. So I've got some shapes down here at the bottom. There's some shapes down here at the bottom that I need to trim off and across the top is not um, straight either. So I've placed the ruler in a position where it will be trimming off this bottom edge as well as that top edge. So I'm gonna use a rotary cutter that is larger. For cutting in the channels, you need a larger blade. So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom I'm going to put my blade in that open area. So there's a teardrop shape. That's where you place your blade to get it ready. And then you just go straight across. Need to hold on to your ruler just a little bit so it doesn't shift and move. I'm not going to move any of this at this point. What I'm going to do is decide how large of a cut I'm going to make and jump up to the next channel and make the next cut. This ruler has the channels every half inch. So I know this is half an inch, one inch, one and a half inch, um, two inches and two and a half inch. So what I'm going to do is cut. So my piece that I'm cutting my strip is going to end up to be two and a half inches. 
So if I cut at the zero, which is the first one, then I'm going to jump up to the two and a half and I'm going to put my blade in the teardrop and then just follow along this channel all the way to the end. Now I'm going to jump up to the five inch because that's my next piece. And then to seven and a half. And then to the 10. Just make sure you get that blade right in that channel before you start going. That last cut is going to be less than two and a half, so I can leave this one alone. I'm going to remove my ruler. And now I can go ahead and remove the excess and then start. Um, Pulling off my two and a half inch strips. Everything looks great. And then this is not two and a half inches, so I'm going to set it aside. I know my green was really thin under here, so I'm going to set that aside because that's not the proper width that I want. And now what I can do is go ahead and lay out my next pieces of fabric and repeat the same process.